And there's an episode switch. So aside from that, or all that ridiculous shit, which also kept me from working on my computer like I had been planning to do. Whoops. You know, that Final Fantasy thing, because I was going to work on that, and then Angel literally told me, remember that thing you've been planning for for weeks? That's tonight. What are you doing? It's like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wait till another day, then take it apart and clean it out. I'm still working on my ridiculous radio project. Mm-hmm. Which, aesthetically at least, has come out exactly as I wanted it to so far. Well, that's good. And in concept, it should work fine, because, you know, basically, it should all be really, really simply assembling pre-constructed parts. Uh-huh. So, I should, in theory, be able to do that without too much issue. We'll find out. Right. But I realized exactly how much I've lost my mind when I was assembling playlists of not just, like, music on radio shows from the 1940s, but commercials and news programs. Well, you want that authentic experience. Uh, I was having a very long conversation with someone on a classic uh, old-time radio forum about it, because they were asking some advice and where I could find shit. Uh-huh. And there's a lot of really handy, nice, older dudes on there who are like, Oh, that sounds like a fun project. And, you know, basically giving me advice or telling me where to find really weird archives of strange shit. Mm. The answer to almost all those is usually archive.org has everything that you'll want. Yeah. But, um... That's usually how it works. But, uh, I had one of those moments where I was talking to someone who was like... Oh, yeah, I wish it was the 40s again. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> like, but it was such more an enlightened time. It, no, it wasn't. Like, oh, you can't tell me that you wouldn't have loved a freedom back then. Like, listen, the only thing that people were free to do back then was be more racist and homophobic blatantly than they are today. Other than that, everything was kind of shit for everyone else. Yeah, the economy was better. But, people were also still dying at, of old age in their 60s. And, you know, that sort of thing. And it's like, oh, I'm like, no, no, listen. The only way you can honestly tell me that it was a better time is if what you're saying is you wish you could say things out loud about a particular group of people that you're not allowed to say out loud about people now. <laughs> and all of the old dudes actually just came and went, he's right. <laughs> And the person shut the fuck up. Well, that's good. I was just one of those, see? Mm. Mm. Right, what the fuck did I come down here for? Uh, good job. Signs. No, I have signs. I hope I didn't come down here. I came here down, down here for signs, and I had like 30 on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Okay, I'm going to wait up from here without doing this. Which shortly isn't going to be an option anymore. Mm. Okay, where's the hole? Alright, water buckets. Water buckets. Water bucket, water bucket, water bucket, water bucket. Water. So, another thing I've been watching is the um, show... Begin Japanology by the NHK. It's a fairly interesting show. It goes into less thought about aspects of Japanese culture in some regards. Mm -hmm. Like the Japanese obsession with massage chairs and why. And okay. it's kind of interesting to watch and learn about shit I had no idea was even a thing. <laughs> when you ask me anything about Japanese society, I can promise you... The first thing out of my mouth isn't obsession with massage chairs. Right. But then they go into detail about it, and you're like, holy shit, they're obsessed with massage chairs. <laughs> or at least, you know, there's a big cultural, like, tradition for them. And uh -huh. But yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting show, and when they're 
episode about bugs, they went into details about Common Rider, and I was sitting there going, you know, I've never watched Common Rider, and they're wrong. Because <laughs> I'm fairly, I, I don't know, they might have been talking about an older Common Rider series, I don't remember, but I didn't think Common Rider was literally half Grasshopper. Oh, uh, yeah, the original was like a, basically in the first Common Rider series, the riders and all the monsters were cyborgs that were mixed with animals, kind of literally. Okay, well, that was the only detail I was really curious about that I wasn't sure, because it sounded um, accurate. And in 1990, Shin Kamen Rider genetically crossed a person with a grasshopper to make the rider. Yeah. But that was just a movie, and nobody liked it. Ah, uh, well. Um, if you've ever heard of the rider that, you know, ripped somebody's spine out, that was that one. Oh, well, he doesn't sound like a particularly good hero. No, probably not. I mean, that's one of those things of I was really convinced that Kamen Rider was supposed to be for kids, so <laughs> and even by Japanese standards, that's a bit much. Yeah, that was um, basically they were trying to reboot the franchise for an older audience. That's never a good idea. No, it didn't really take. No. Ah. Uh... They need to make Masked Rider more gritty, more edgy, made of more bugs. I don't know. I still want to get a banana loxy, though, just because I have the feeling I'd be able to sit here using it and start a, like, war with Rob in the other room. <laughs> Since every now and I will still be sitting here and here out of the other room, banana arms! <laughs> <laughs> He has actually started collecting more and more of them little by little. Oh, has he? I think he's only got, like, two more. I can't remember. Mm. Dungaree. He's got the Dungaree one. Okay. I don't know what the other one is. Or if there is another. I could be entirely wrong, and I'm good at that. Right. But, um... As every now and then, I just hear, Banana Arms! Or Dungaree! Mm -hmm. And... This is far funnier than it has any right to be, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> uh, uh, my ass is totally asleep. All right. uh, well, that means you need to change positions more. Yeah. Or, you know, eviscerate the proletariat. If I'm going to take care of the walkway, I should actually close up the monster spawning chamber. There you go. Should you, though? Probably. Mm. Well, I actually need that door open, and I took it down, even though I need to open. Good well job. done. Yes, well done, Jame. <laughs> Only one, not two. Oh, well, that would also be a reason that I couldn't find the pathway I needed, because it's actually not on this level. I see. Well done, James. Oh god. Just Is that your that. name now? Yes. <laughs> god, it was, uh, I don't even remember who it was. It was a friend of mine who was from some foreign country ages and ages ago in the early days of the internet. I did not understand that the S was not a plural. Ah. Uh. James. Like, that's not it, but I'm gonna not bother you about it, because <laughs> I understand this is not your primary speak. Ah. My general rule of thumb is... Don't be an asshole? Yes. Especially to people that are trying to speak a language that isn't their native language. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Here's the thing. It's difficult as shit to learn a language. I still haven't mastered the one I'm born with. I probably never will. Mm -hmm. I can tell. Yeah, because I don't. I just don't care. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's you know difficult. Why would I? Why should I make life harder for anyone who's actually trying? Uh huh. It's a dick thing to do. Even I, I don't do that. Yeah, you know, then I spent so much time around Asian people for years that. It's one of those things of, I guess I've developed a little bit of patience in that regard. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, someone tries talking to me in their language, I... 
I don't speak their language. They're making the effort. They deserve a little bit of fucking respect. Mm -hmm. That or, you know, just talk loudly at them in English and hope they understand. Because that, that goes over so well. Well, it works for tourists. And in, by it works for tourists, I mean it doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, God, my ear is just itching so badly internally for no sane reason, and it's driving me up a wall. Ear infection? No. Just itch. Well, yes, I meant was the itch caused by an ear infection? Nah. Are you sure? Probably. I get those a lot, so there's no way to tell. You could totally have an ear infection. I could at any point in time. I get them, like, stupidly easy. Where did I... P I know I made a water source. Where did it go? Upstairs? Oh, no. Maybe. I don't think it is. Uh, I took... Stuff out of the ground. There it is, over there. At the farthest point away from where I'm working. As you do. Hmm. According to the mini map, I'm on the surface of the sun right now. That's or, interesting. Or at least a moon. It just is such a barren hellscape that. Ah, uh, I see. Huh. Oh yeah, but we were talking about feed the beast, and then you started on mist, and that turned into other things. Yeah. Um. So, oh god, I can't even remember what any of the stuff I used to use for it was back in the day. I mean, the ultimate pack basically has everything in it, if that still exists. <laughs> so we can literally just use that, and then find what we want out of it. Hmm. Is that right? I guess that's right. Huh. Huh. No, 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 no. Don't want to fall to death. That's a lot of death to fall. <laughs> Put water at the bottom so you don't die when you hit. But then the torches will, you know, make the non-existent monster spawn. I mean, you gotta get rid of the torches eventually anyway. Oh no, these ones are down on... Well, you'll see once eventually it comes down to that. Mine is a bit ridiculous. Oh, I'm stuck. Um, yeah, but there's like the ultimate pack. And there's a couple of packs by like... Or by and for famous YouTubers, but meh. Mm-hmm. Because most of them are themed after them, and... Well, I don't know, ever since Minecraft put in the you're not allowed to advertise shit rule. Which is pretty funny. When did that happen? Oh, only a couple weeks ago. As of when this was recorded, not as of real life. Okay, so what's the details on that? The basic details is you are no longer allowed to create an advertisement for something other than Minecraft in a in Minecraft. That is what it boils down to. So you're not allowed to create, like, a giant advertisement for Disney, which Disney paid someone to do, actually. <laughs> so this actually affects a number of very famous YouTubers uh -huh. who are suddenly, you know, screwed. 
Whoops. Because they did things like create giant advertisements inside Minecraft for a living. Uh huh. But. That's not something that affects the average YouTuber at all. Right. But, you know, people are upset, and I'm like, why? Why are you upset? Now people can't chill for corporations using Minecraft? <laughs> Is that why you're upset? Are you upset why, that your famous or favorite YouTubers will no longer be able to make money off that? Okay, they have Patreons. I'll bet you they have Patreons. Give them money. Mm. Not going to give them money? What are you complaining about? Uh. I've had a couple people tell me, you should get a Patreon. I'm like, I don't think I do anything worth money. Well, I mean, on one level, that's a healthy attitude to take, because, I mean, you know. Fine. If it I've seen people less deserving of them who, you know, take them out anyway. Yeah. Uh. The worst sales pitch I ever heard was, um, you know, support my Patreon so I don't have to get a job. <laughs> support my Patreon so I can play video games and talk to you. Which is not all. Well, and in the right circumstances, somebody would do that. Yeah, and if someone wanted to, I would probably ask them if they needed help. <laughs> no, no, I actually would appreciate that, but I just don't. I also don't like to the idea of doing anything that would in any way indebt me to people mm. when I do this for fun and stress relief. Uh, yeah, now you're paying for me to play video games, which means I have to. Hmm. On a schedule. Oops. Oh, fine. Damn it. Alright. Alright, so leave. Alright, come here, water. No, yeah. well, first, I need to pick up these damn asshole blocks. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I need to make signs while I was upstairs. Oh, well, I brought a crafting table with. Oh, there you are. So, whatever. Yeah. There. So. Eh. At least this time oh. I have enough water on me to do a chamber. Yeah. Alright, so if I do this, then. That's what I did wrong. That explains it. Alright, that's fixable. Alright. And... Uh, At least some signs are still in place from my uh, failed first attempt. No. Yeah. At least that'll be, you know, of aid to you. Yes, it will. You've given yourself aid. No. Just one, though. Nah, yeah. I mean, not the full set. Alright. Uh, uh. mm, Signs sure are expensive to make, though. Yeah, they are. Wood and sticks and cobblestone and signs out of them. dead rat and... Miso soup, it's just a giant pain. I never had miso soup. It's not bad, actually. I recommend it. It's basically a very mild soup. I mean, it's it's a mild... I don't even know how to describe the flavor. It's probably umami, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> Delicious. But, yeah. But it's very nice. It has very little actual flavor. And it is considered a breakfast food in most of Japan. Because it's very, very inoffensive. And you can drink it even if you have, like, severe stomach problems. Sounds like chicken broth. Yeah. I think it's, uh, I think it's made by fermenting soybeans or something. Everything is. Yeah. Natto. Nature's horror is made by, uh, fermenting soybeans. And I've never woken up and gone, you know what I want to eat? Soybeans and jizz. 
I mean, that's just me, maybe. Maybe.